Hi and welcome to another episode of Fishing Western Australia. Plenty of fishing action as usual, let's have a look at what's coming up. On today's show we're going to head way upstream in the Swan River to show you that it's full of fish you can catch. Lock the amp, lock the amp. We'll also show you one of the hardest charging fish in the ocean. I mean, full over strike. Got, oh my goodness, that's not a Jew! Perth Swan River extends right up past Midland and Middle Swan. But how many times have you driven past it and wondered, are there really any fish this far up river? Well, I'm here to tell you that the upper reaches of the Swan are loaded with brim. And with a chance to test out the new Polycraft brim boat with Steve Pankhurst and Ryan, we thought we'd show you just how easy it is to fish the snags for brim over summer. Oh, well done, Ryan. Good start. Oh, you got me the snag. Oh, that was on a whole prawn, wasn't it? That's right. Oh, no, I got him out. Got him out. Oh. oh. <laughs> Oh. That's the thing about fishing these snags, isn't it? He let go. That That's was a good right. fish. Now your rig, you can see you've got a, uh, a wide gap hook there and a little running bean sinker or a ball sinker right down onto the top of the eye. Ryan's going to show you to bait that up in a sec. Oh well mate, first one. Well there you have it, one by river prawn. And to rig up, very very simple. What you're doing is putting the hook the back there near the legs. I think it's about the second leg in. And what you're doing is you're slowly working the actual bait around the wide gap hook and as it gets to the top, push it out like that. Nice sharp uh, point right there. Then I'll just do a half hitch around the tail. What it's going to do is stop the actual bait from sliding into a blob. Ball sinker down to the bottom there. That's the bait presented well and hopefully we're going to get a fish. Oh. Oh, you've got a bit of line uh, going off the spool there, mate. Uh, you're not you're not, uh, not using 0.2 of a gram uh, no, drag mate. pressure like someone we know. No, no. It's only a small fish. That's all right. That's an all right fish, that. I did it for you, but I'm onto my fourth rig. That's all right. That's a nice one. Nice and fat. Beautiful. Look at the colours of that sun. That hook's right inside there. That's the wide gap we mentioned before. Good thing about those hooks. They don't go right down the throat, so you can release them nice and easily back in the water. Before the 747 hits us. There it goes. Ah, oh, Steve. Small we'll get our Enviro net ready. Oh, I just gave me an eight. Nice one. Well, it's undersized, but Steve's using a completely different method. Something we've talked about in the show before, which we call the jelly bean principle. Tiny hook, tiny bait. Not a huge fish, but you're just as likely to catch a big one as a small one, and he's not even using a sinker. He's just drifting it right in his main line, straight down into the snags. Good stuff, mate. Good stuff. Great new reel here from Gladiator. This is called the BB200. It's a brim bait runner reel. Just come out. Now, I'll show you why they're so good. We'll flick into the snag over here. Let it sink down. And this switch here is our bait runner switch. We push it forward, close the bail arm, and the brim can take line because they're tentative fish and they like to run with it. Then when you turn the handle on strike, your drag's engaged, and then you're up to full strike mode. Brilliant idea. Steve, you're doing beautifully today, mate. That unweighted small piece of prawn is obviously the go. Have you ran a snag? Brought it through. Oh, no, that's a good one, mate. That's a good one. They look great in the water. That's quite a long fish, too. Very nice. You can see that jelly bean theory again working, can't you? You've been an advocate for that uh, ever since I started thinking about it, aren't you? Playing with it for quite a few months now. Oh, nice one, mate, nice one. Beautifully conditioned Midland Blackie. He's probably been living up here for a while. Very dark water, very dark fish, and you might be able to see the purples and the greens. They're just superb fish up here. Very well conditioned, very clean. It's the middle of summer, very warm. Now, at this time of year, the fish do come a long way back up into the swan. In the winter months, they're gonna be downstream. 
there's going to be a lot more fish upstream in the summer. Is it because of salinity? Is it because of oxygen in the water? Everyone's got different theories, but in summer you definitely get more fish up here. The snags are perfect. That's the sort of cover that you're looking for when fishing for brim. Anywhere along here is going to have fish. So stop somewhere, chuck a bait or a lure for 10 minutes. If you haven't got anything, move to the next one and you might find three at that snag. So keep moving all day. It's a lot more fun too. Gotcha. Oh yes. <sighs> Just saw the line go that way that time, Steve. And uh, sometimes, even if you don't feel the fish, I couldn't feel any weight. But I just saw my line heading that way against the current, wound it up quickly, bang, hit it. And once again, this Gladiator Reel is proving the perfect tool for this bait fishing here for Brim. Fantastic. At the moment, the tide's going out. So we've just tied the boat up to a snag in the middle here. And we're just using the current going this way to drift baits back. That's another good use for your bait runner. Is that you can feed line out as if it was a bait caster, but if a fish suddenly grabs it, you're engaged straight away without having to worry about the bail alarm. Really good idea. Very tentative, says Steve. Very tentative hit I was getting. <laughs> good fish there, it looks like. Oh, I can see it, it is a good fish, mate. Beauty, just drifting back onto that snag. Nice one. And another brim, very well conditioned. Not enormous, but a very nice fish. Once again, on that single little hook with no weight. Do you have a bit of line twist there, mate? Have. Fantastic. Just pop back into the snag over this way. That way you might not spook the others. Well, Middle Swan, it's an absolutely beautiful place to fish. Small baits in a small boat. If you come here with a family, especially in summer, you're almost guaranteed you're gonna get fish. Remember, 25 centimeters is your legal size. We're gonna have a fish with some lures now and uh, have a bit of fun. But one thing I wanted to show you was these new Enviro jigs. They're not lead heads, they're made of a tin alloy. So if you lose your jig, you're not polluting the waterways with lead. So next time you buy lead heads, have a think about whether you should go for an Enviro jig instead, made right here in WA. Middle Swan, it's beautiful and it's full of brim.